Very good combination. And this is where the bonus points come from at the Ginga Somersault. And that was a high Arabian double dismount. She had plenty of time to see the floor. And it didn't hit her, but she hit it with absolute control. And the buzz these gymnasts get from a good performance, whether or not it's a medal-winning performance, is irrelevant. Just to emphasize the point, she is in for a medal and bronze medal position at the minute. If uh, this is solid enough in the judge's view, and that's an amazing um, upside-down transition, um, then, of course, it all depends what the other two girls above her do in this final rotation. Don't forget and that was a very high Ginger somersault. Korkina and Zigan Shiva and Radukan, the girls around her who could undo her chances. 8-9-5. Really got to draw blood to get into the nines. Tough marking. <laughs> She did have a few um, areas where she hit the shape rather by luck than judgment. You know, her one and a half turn into the undershoot was a little bit off center. And when she hit the undershoot, she could have so easily gone wrong. And now, elegance personified, Svetlana Korkina, the leader on floor. That was a big skill for her power. Full twisting double. She got 9.4 in the qualifications on the floor, so one of the outstanding gymnasts of this discipline. But we've seen already the uh, Brazilian score a massive 9.562. That's the highest score of the meet on the floor. Triple twist. She always has a an insecure landing on that, but uh, it was the best of what she's produced to date. She's... Her height provides such a lovely elegance. Bit off center on that jump. But she's got such spindly folate legs, you never would believe that she can launch herself so high into tumbles with this. Double pike, huge leverage. Lovely double twist to front drop. Great stuff, absolutely. You know, she's been in the game for a long, long time. And to have the motivation to continue and fight against these 15 and 16 year olds at 22, to be so dedicated over such a long period of time. You know, she cer certainly deserves everything she gets. You get out of life what you put in, and she puts in an awful lot. The top qualifier led all the way through this competition here in the final, and has she done enough here on the floor to get a gold medal? Svetlana Korkina of Russia, senior member of the squad by some way at 22, and it looks like she may be on her way to gold. And making history, the oldest ever uh, female world champion. That would be quite something and really great for gymnastics because we've seen so many people drop out of the sport because they believe they've passed their sell-by date by the time they're 18 or 19. And Korkina proves that you don't have to be small and you don't have to be young, but he is somebody Danielle Hippoloto, and she is a major, major competitor. Incredible. She's the girl who scored an excess of 9-5 on the floor, and uh, if she's got the leg power to do well on the floor, then a better beam will be solid too. Change leg side into half twist nutrition over. And she's so cool. Moving with great fluency. Not beam hunting. Beam hunting is an expression for somebody whose chin is always down and they're always searching to make sure the beam is underneath them. But uh, somebody who has the head in line with their back during the exercise shows great confidence. 
change legs, split. Oh, into a jeté turn. That is a bodily jump. <laughs> it looks simple, but that is as difficult as some of the major tumbles. There's the compulsory balance. Boy, oh boy. Randolph Flick double tuck. She's cool and uh, very, very bold on the beam. Extremely bold. And pretty happy too. Just one obvious little mistake in all that. And uh, overall, we've uh, found how difficult it is for these people to get over nines, but she's guaranteed a nine plus, I would think, on the beam. And uh, in case you missed the caption there of Corkina's score on the floor, 9.475. And uh, she's pretty much home and home. Somebody's going to do something outstanding to take the gold medal away from her after that floor exercise from the Russian. But there we are here on the balance beam. 9.375 for the Brazilian. And she's done very well indeed in this tournament. But we don't know quite what she's going to finish at. We'll find out that in just a moment. Ghent in Belgium. And here the great star of the Romanian team the girl who led their challenge at the Olympic Games and uh, such a tragic Olympics for her in the sense that uh, she was stripped of her gold medal in this all-around event at the Olympics because of uh, an unfortunate episode with a cold remedy that had a banned substance in it. She only took a couple of uh, pills by all accounts, but um, rules is rules. She was stripped of her gold and her doctor was banned for four years. Yes, very sad story. She's fighting for her life to stay in the medals because she's under real threat of being ousted out by Daniela Hippoloto from uh, Brazil. The Brazilian has finished and her score stands at 36.905. So Raducan has got to get nearly 9.3 to make sure that she stays in the bronze medal position. Oh, my oh. goodness me. What a shame. What a shame. It was fabulous to watch until the last little sip. Absolutely. I mean, I think bronze if she's lucky. If she's lucky. But she's, a, she's to me, a beautiful floor worker. Her posture's great. She's elegant. Uh, she's powerful. I think all around, she's one of the most pleasing to watch. But there's one person who won't be very pleased, and that will be Andrea Radukan herself. And uh, Maria Bitash, rather straight faced there. <laughs> Needless to say, it could be a chance of a medal down the drain on that error. Two and a half twists, you see. Oh, I think this might be it, unless it's the last one. Yeah, this is it. Two and a half twists straight front. She was under rotated, slipped and stepped straight out of the area, reminiscent of Karpenko in the Olympics, where she really had a chance of the Olympic gold medal, and she did just the same. Well, Radican will have another chance in the apparatus final. She's in three of them on the floor, and also up there on the vault. So the only one she's not uh, competing in, in fact, is the uh, uneven bar. So a possibility of three golds for her is still to come, but not in this all-around final. Korkina still in pole position there. The Russian girl, her great competitor. And there you have it, 9.262. But that is good enough to keep her ahead of uh, Hippolito of Brazil. So the young Brazilian looks like she might miss out on the medals. But what about Schweikert here? A good vault, but uh, not difficult enough to go into the into the big scores. Again, needs probably something like a nine four or thereabouts to get ahead of Radican, I would think. Yes, this is only going to put her in the early nines, not the mid nines. But a uh, brilliant challenge. Absolutely brilliant challenge from her. 
There we are, that first vault, 9.125 needs more than that.